Oh, shit. Well, since I'm down here, might as well get stuff. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. Gotta run the power. Get the power over there. Start the generator. Okay. All juiced up. I really put it too high. Oh, come on. That better. Alan Wuss. Can't even climb onto some logs. Looking for good stuff. The heat. But there ain't no heat around these parts. They cold. I've got some enemies though. Oh no, Zane! Even better. The part of you that is in control is in the cabin, dreaming and insane. I don't think I like that. You represent the part of Alan Wake that is capable of rational thought and planning, which is why I'm talking to you. If that part can be control, then you have a chance of making it. But a part of you wants to give in. There's comfort in the oblivion of dreams. You represent the part that isn't ready to quit and die. Wait, are you telling me I'm not real? You're as real as anything else in this place. So there are two of me? Yes. And the one you called Mr. Scratch, he's me as well? No. Zane, are you playing some kind of game with me? I am not the author of your story. How can you say that when you wrote that page about me and the clicker? It wasn't one of my pages. You directed me to it. You had Weaver guard it. Yes, she was needed. And you needed the clicker. But I I'm not. What? I don't understand. Alan, you should keep going. Zane? Zane, come on! Well, I cleared things up. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. My pretties. Do not flee. I need you. You're totally me, Zane. And you know it. What the hell? Why can't I go up? Go. Stop stopping, man. Oh. Fantastic. Killing everything. Swinging that chain.
Wait, do I have any more of this? Yeah. Alright. All topped off. The bridge groaned in the unnatural wind. It was heralding the enemy's arrival. Wait, what leave this place alive? <laughs> the hell? Pick it up, punk. Yeah. So, what's this one do? Oh. Jeez. That's no good. Oh, hey. Fuck luggage! Get out here! Oh! What the hell? Ah, oh, crap! I'm right next to a word! Fucking words! Why do the words hurt? I always said that words would never hurt me! Did I actually get all of them that time? What the hell? Oh, oh that's there they are. Ow. Oh shit. Oh fuck. I was a bit close. Pump shoddy in your body. You can't handle it, punk bitches. New hit single. A moment. I can help you here. English. Grammar properly. Oh. Oh, tree. Oh. Doing that. Sweet Jesus. It's like learning to control your dreams. There's a connection. You were in my dream. Yes. I taught you. You fixed the foolish mistake I made with Barbara. Well, how about this foolish mistake you're gonna make me do right now? How are you gonna fix this? Uh oh, uh. Multitasking. Yeah! Rock! Oh. Woo. Oh, oh, oh. Man, there's some behind me. Ball shit. File that in your TPS report. Huh. Okay, you know what? The fuck. Uh, 
Man. Get the fuck back here. Those are kind of crazy. My eyeball. My eyeball! The darkness is taking over my eyeball! You're trying to kill me! It's in my head. Oh, shit. Oh, bird. Fucking bird strike craziness. Shit birds. That one going. All right, I, th I feel like I'm covered all right here. There are your pants. Double checkpoint. Just in case. Wake ran for the light. It was pointless. He would never reach it. His life would be snuffed out just as easily as the very thing he thought would save him. Oh. Even with the light gone, all I could do was keep going. Stop making it all wiggly. Y'all ain't shit. Let me pass. Let's oh. not beat around the bush. You have a lot of problems now. I do, I do. I'm so glad you decided to come back. Since we're being so frank here, Alan, and let me just reiterate how happy I am that you've had this breakthrough, I would like to summarize your condition. By all TV means. headitis. And please, just let me know if you think I'm being unfair. All right. Well, let's start with the obvious. The car crash. Untreated head trauma. All due respect to Doc Nelson, but he's hardly a neurosurgeon. I think that the injury has affected you more than you realize. Yeah, I, I have had bad headaches. Then there's your history of substance abuse, which, combined with your chronic insomnia, has resulted in hallucinations and extremely poor impulse control. That's a dangerous combination, one which your wife has unfortunately had to suffer from far more than you. I know. I know she has. I don't think I'm exaggerating when I say that you are existing in a state of all-encompassing denial. Your vivid fantasy All casts you as a heroic victim and allows you to skirt responsibility for your own actions. It allows you to solve your imaginary problems and dismiss the things that truly trouble you. I'm not back there. In your self-serving delusions, your personal problems are assets that allow you to save Alice, perhaps even the world. Dr. Harmon, I... I think that's spot on. I can't argue with any of that. Well, I'm sure I'm stating the obvious. I don't want to labor the point, but, well, um... No, no. I understand. It's important that I face it. Precisely, Alan. You've put so much effort and imagination into this self-deception, but what good has it really done for you? Yes, you what good? my offer of help, and here you are. Did being so obdurate really get you to a better place? No. No. And did it really help Alice? Was this really the best thing for your wife? Probably not. Probably not. 
Is that it? Why don't we find out? You know, I've been talking with her. There's something she wanted you to hear. Oh, hey. That sounds like fun. Oh. All I ever wanted was to help you, Alan. I ate all the shit you handed out and tried to understand Whoa. your pathetic, Jeez. wealthy white male drama. Taking this relationship too far. Of managing your never-ending crisis. I hate you for your childish temper and the arrogance and self-indulgent pride that undermine all efforts to drag you out of the hole you insisted on digging for yourself. I hate you for leaving me in the dark with that insane monster bitch. All you had to do was act like a loving human being for once in your life and stay with me. If your dramatic exit hadn't been more important than making sure I was all right, she would never have taken me. I don't know where you went, but that's okay. I don't want to know. I don't think I'll ever be all right. The only thing that keeps me never, in my ever. is the hope that I'll never see you again. Ouch. I burn. I just can't argue with that. I think I should stay here before I ruin what life she has left. I think this is a breakthrough, Alan. I'm really very proud of you. Oh. Everything went kapoof. What does that say? A tremor. I finally get to see my earthworm that eats uh, light switches. It was nonsense. Technology. I knew I had saved her. I'd succeeded in that, and that was all that mattered. What I heard in there wasn't the truth. It was just another toxic mirage. It cut deep, but that made me all the more determined to force myself to snap out of it. I didn't want to be that guy anymore. I had to make myself see the light. Oh, shit. Shit. <laughs> Fuck, I hate that! Throwing all my shit everywhere! Ugh. Oh, jeez! Nintendo God? You're here too? Oh! Anything in here? No. Nothing else in here. I think I'm going this way. I hope I'm going this way. Because I'm going this way. Burns, don't it? Zane. What the ball sack? Oh. Well done. You have come oh, far, but there's still a little further to go. You must take full control of your own mind. Reject all of the fantasies you have constructed. Yeah, well, I reject I I your reality that. and substitute my own. Seen here is personal and ugly as hell. I'll admit it hurts, but it's not fooling me. I know it's fake. Good. You are aware. The part of you bent on self-destruction is not. But you must be careful. Just because you know the lies for what they are, that doesn't make the danger any less real. I'll make it. I don't have any choice. Oh. Here. I cannot come any further, but this will help you on your way. Thanks. I guess. Right. Hey, let me tell you something, Alan. I know how your mind works. You screw up, then you start analyzing it, <coughs> and before you know it, you start writing all these horror stories in your head. Don't you? Come on, I don't do that. 
<laughs> yes, you do. I know how it goes. You're a complete failure. I hate you and I'll never forgive you for whatever it was that you did. Am I wrong? Oh, man. See? I know you. But, Alan, it's all in your head. It is. And I love you. And I'm not going anywhere. I think I've let too much darkness in. It's starting to get to me. Hmm. So, oh, ooh. Oh, it's dark. Something I can ignite over here. Yeah. This is helping me? Jesus Christ, they dude. They kept coming! Ah. There were too many of them! Hordes and hordes of them! Swarming over the landscape, eager to kill! And this time they would get it with sheer numbers! Where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? Crap, I can't. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just gonna keep going this way then. Shit. Okay, I think I got. There we go. Uh, this way. by GPS now, I think. Okay, I'm I'm getting low here. Yeah, demons of the night. Shouting clear each time I do one of these. Clear! Uh, oh, am I good now? I was relieved to have made it here, but I wasn't sure what was going to happen now. Oh. Any secrets? No secrets. Hear the noise again. Oh. Is that the noise of collectible Xbox games? 
Is that what that is? Zane had left me. I wasn't sure what the Dark Presence had done to him if he couldn't follow, but from now on, I was on my own. Still, he had gotten me this far. I would never have made it by myself. This thing was going to end. It wouldn't be long now. Uh -huh. Fucking huge staircase. All right, there we go. Oh, jeez. The second there, I thought I fell off. What does that say? Return? Here we go. Camera nearly flew into his ass. What? Oh, hey. There I was we go. By the change of scenery, but not much. I was starting to understand the symbolism, the way the dark place flowed. What's back this way? Some something awesome. That is the sound of video games. Which means I missed one. Shit. Oh. The hell? Hey, Al. Ah, oh, feeling kind of depressed here. What? So Zane's your new buddy now. I feel abandoned. This is ridiculous. You're not even real. That doesn't mean I don't have any feelings. Thing is, you need to get all rational here. Abandon your fantasies, right? Well, I kind of hate to say this, pal, but I'm one. Fine, you're abandoned. Bye. So you're gonna be Al, a mini boss. What I'm saying is, the only way you're getting in that cabin is through me. It's one oh. of those kill your darlings things. Yeah. But hell, you're used to that, big shot writer. Am I right? It was in everything. It was even taking the people Wake knew, turning his friends against him. They were all against him. Cool. What does it say about you when you're this desperate to keep yourself from getting better? Here we go! I'm earning a 50% commission. Right, get back. It's great that you first make yourself an imaginary hey friend, and then you, you can't even get along with that guy. People skills, Al. You're a master. Huh? What are those? Let's crack uh. that writer's block of yours, Alan. You're a modern master of crime fiction, an expert of dark alleyways, and a master of something. Yes, best part. Think of this as a little shot dream, man. No, uh, uh, come on, doctor, doctor, take your pills. You'll make a great hunting party, my boy. Yeah. Hell, it's great. Did my job. Mostly it's just to make sure you don't need the entire life oh. to ah, shit. all the impulse control. Oh. It's very oh, enriching. I have several words to speak to. I just because I never know when to get in trouble again. You know what kind of people need that? Gangsters. And assholes. And you're not again. They make money all the time. 
Hey! Remember when you threw a hissy fit? Because your wife tried to help you and your ego couldn't take it? And because of that, you shot and killed a dozen times over? BFF, Al! BFF! Ah, oh, crap. Fuck. Get the hell out of here. Ah, oh, god damn it! An old guy hitting me with a guitar is not gonna kill me. I'm a little more resilient than that. Where is he? Get out of there. Ah! Fuck what? Oh, I stepped in. Stepped in it. It's totally not. And you have to literally pay your best friend to hang out because everyone knows what you used to put up with your surly ass. Ah, shit. God damn it. <laughs> Fucking birds. we be done with this now? Fuck! Come back, man. Ah, fuck! Get the fuck away from my batteries! Wait, I don't need any more batteries. Come on, man. Now, I swear to God, Fuck. Is it am I not doing this right? Am I supposed to be doing something else? Okay. That's been three times, right? Since... since... Ugh. Okay. Get inside. It's all bullshit out here. Wait, but there's probably a fucking oh shit. Nope, there's a there's a it's broken. We're not going that way. Why is this happening to me? Dude, just go shoot yourself. It's too dark. Where am I? I can't find my way. Why is this happening to me? I can't find my way. It's too dark. Why? Why is this happening to me? Just like that, my mind was clear. Zane had been right. I could think clearly again. But I couldn't survive in this place the way he had, and I might not make it back a second time. Leaving this place would be hard. Maybe impossible. It wouldn't take much for my thoughts to stray again. It was too easy to get lost in the dark place. Before, I was ready to curl up and die. Let myself slip away. But here I was the yet unwritten future waiting to unfold before me. A sequel to Departure. Redeparture? My name is Alan Wake, and I'm a writer. Okay, so 
I'm still not out because, hey, we want to write more stories for this. So, uh, hmm. I guess that's it, though, aside from American Nightmare. But uh, that's Alan Wake, everybody. I'm Hamster. I'll see you later with whatever I play next. Bye.